Okay, crude oil yesterday. I put this in. This is a this is a symmetrical wedge. I I said we had a two day symmetrical wedge going on. We were inside of the wedge. We were inside the wedge. Wedges are continuation patterns typically. Almost all wedges are continuation patterns, meaning with trend. Going into the two-day wedge, we were obviously in a downtrend. Lower high, lower high, lower high. So what I was anticipating, as I talked about yesterday on the microphone, is I wanted the symmetrical wedge to break my low value area and then retest it to get an entry. And I said it may take news to do that with crude oil inventories, and it sure did nail the high at HVA. Then we had a second shot at the LVA. But the bottom line is, is that symmetrical wedges are comprised of two things. You're going to have at least two higher lows, and you're going to have at least two lower highs. Two higher lows, two lower highs. Okay? So two lower highs, two higher lows. If the trend is down, you're expecting a break of that wedge, a retest of that wedge, and that's exactly what happened yesterday. It broke LVA, retested it. Look at the big move that you had that ensued on the wedge pattern. The first push was 52 target. It rebounded there, broke its back at 52, and just went all the way down below 5060. The original entry was the 5274. 5274. Lowest 5060. I mean, just a beautiful, beautiful move of over 200 plus ticks. That's what two day wedges create. So, just heads up on that. When I post symmetrical wedges, it's two lower highs and two higher lows for an intraday wedge. What happens is, is if you get a two day wedge, which we had, it can be very powerful. So, that was projected. It retested negative market delta, and it's beautiful. Now, what we have today is we have what's going on in today's action is we have a rising wedge which is bearish rising wedge is a bearish wedge that is comprised of two two higher i mean two or three higher lows and then two or three higher highs that is a rising wedge rising wedges are bearish so market delta turned on us if you look at it when it broke its back at 25, market delta right here broke its back there on a huge sell bounce of 374. So if you know that pattern and you had a W, I mean an end top at HVA, high value area, that is a shot to take a short once you broke the 25, the entry was 25 and it broke its back here below profile. So that rising wedges are bearish. Now, what can happen with a rising wedge? They're bearish. They get tighter. See how you have two, three higher highs, three low, or higher lows. That's a rising wedge is bearish. So what I want to see happen is market profile to confirm it broke back inside a market profile. Market delta brought us all the way down here to two times stacked area to sell the position. I'm, I'm sorry, cover the position down at LVA. That's a covered position. Now what can happen with this wedge is it can come back up and test either the control point or the wedge, but typically what happens with the wedge is you will break below it, it will come and retest it, this is a rising wedge, retest market profile on the wedge, and then you see a continuation pattern like this. But just be aware, rising wedges are bearish, falling wedges are bullish. Symmetrical wedges, which I pointed out yesterday before it even happened, this is where I pointed out I was looking for a break. We were inside of the wedge right here. We were inside of it, and I said I'm looking for a break retest, and I got nothing holding us up until 52. Sure enough, it broke retested, and nothing held us up to 52 and fell over $2,000 potential per one contract. The max risk was $130 on the trade. Now. What happened yesterday is this, I trade, we trade news events. So if you look at the news event, I'll go to the next setup on crude in a second. News events, we trade news events. Check this out. Check when inventories came out at 10.30. 10.30 news came out. My high value area was 5308. 
the market stopped exactly at 5308 to the exact tick. That was a sell based upon trend was down. Bias was down. Negative market delta came right up there at 5308. So you had two shots at it. You had a shot at selling seconds after the news at 5308. High, it stopped to the exact tick on my market profile because the trend was down. Remember, you sell HVA and downtrends or wait for the LVA to break. That's what I was waiting for. LVA broke. It retested, and this is all profit potential. The cool thing about it, guys, is market profile. When you're inside of my values, HVA and LVA, the market is balanced. When you get outside of LVA and HVA, the market becomes out of balance. There's no support. This is what you see. So what I'm teaching you is I'm teaching you how to trade price patterns with market profile because price patterns can fail. But if you know a price pattern with market profile, we, I knew this was a two-day wedge. I pointed this out to you guys. It was a two-day wedge when we're inside of it. But what happened, what broke its back was not the break of the two-day wedge per se. What broke its back was a break and retest of low value area. Because you get below low value area, there's no support. You got no support below you. Volume profile, once you get below it, it's all over. Now what we got today is we had a rising wedge which is bearish, and a rising wedge is comprised of, like I said, two or three higher lows, two or three higher highs. Once it breaks, this broke its back right here to go short. My members know to short right there. You can short that or wait for the break retest and short there also into the rising wedge. So that was a nice 25 all the way down to 95, over $350 profit potential on that one. So patterns with market profile are key. Patterns with market profile are key. All right?